men, this is a PSA for you. I need okay. you to listen to me very carefully. Okay. I know you have been dragged in the last few years through social media, through um, the media, through, you know, women, through just, I think our entire like culture right now has shamed men and tried to dwindle you down to becoming, I don't know, women or more feminine or less manly. Yeah, a bunch of bitches, walking male bitches. You've got balls and a knob, but that doesn't matter. That does not matter. They want to reduce a man, destroy the masculinity in a man and turn him into a modern male bitch. Exactly. It needs to end because trust me, there are a lot of people out there that still want men, real men. Oh. And no. we need men. You're, you're irreplaceable. There's nothing that can replace a man. Not nothing. Course. Not, not a course. material thing. Not another species on this planet. Nothing can re replace a man. He's dead. You were built with your muscle mass, with your bone structure, with all of your, your deep voice. All these things yeah. are for a reason, okay? Yeah. Use those things. I know everyone has told you to slow down and to not act a certain way, but mm. that is crap. I think, you know what? This weekend, go do something manly. I like always give do. back somehow okay because i know i know i know the majority of men have like given up something to be like to fit more into like the cultural bs that we have going on right now give me my ring nope i don't want a job i don't want to be a corporate girly i don't want to climb the ladder i don't want to be a boss babe i don't want to do anything. no 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 young woman how dare you silence how dare you not want what women have worked so hard for you to get you're a Monster. The freedom, the rights you have. You can vote, woman. You can vote. And a man's not going to spit in your face. Freedom. you got to be that strong, modern, independent woman. Get your fancy overpriced place. Oh. Your overpriced car. Oh. Spend money on bags and makeup to look like that bad bitch. Oh. To be that boss B. It's been done. It can't go back. Women can't unvirgin themselves. Whatever, it sounds dumb. But women can't go back. You know what I want to do? I want to be home. I want to be cooking in the kitchen. I want to be no. cleaning. I want to be shopping. Mm -mm. I want to be no. making brownies. I want to be cooking mm -mm. dinner. No. Making homemade meals it's a every lie. night. Almost Deception. every night. No. I want to do all the things. You're I want lying. I welcome my future husband home from work. Deception. Lies. Lies. Woman, you need to get yourself a job. A high paying job. A career that's going to ruin you for the rest of your life. Now, you said she hurt you. For sure. In what way exactly? Uh, she fucked my best friend while she was pregnant, and then she had a miscarriage, so shout out to God. But yeah, that's what happened. I beg your pardon? So you want to hear my hot take on plus size travel and why I think every plus size traveler should get a free second and even third seat on an airplane? Then you better keep watching and sign my petition to make some real change. Let's just state facts. Plus size travelers need more space. And many people agree that plane seats are too small, even for the average size person. As a plus size traveler myself, I know how uncomfortable and unsafe it can be to squeeze into a tiny airplane seat. We are not asking for special treatment or luxury accommodations. We simply want enough space to travel comfortably and safely without fear of being discriminated against because of our size. We are not asking for special treatment or luxury accommodations. We are not asking for special treatment or luxury accommodations. We are not asking for special treatment or luxury accommodations. I want to give all the praises and the honor to Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shah Bahashem, Recha Ha Kodash, and double honors to the elder apostles and bishops of Great Millstone. Honors as well to you, brethren, you fellow followers and believers of the faith, and Shalom to the elect. So it seems as nowadays there's so many videos on the tube in discussion of the woman and Eve, which is, you know, together, the woman in general, and her behaviors and the system that supports it. I just saw a clip with Tyrese and his Instagram model he followed. Well, he got, she, she, she said that another man, he wasn't her type, and this man used to be a model or whatever. Um, and what's happening is, We've been targeted as men, you know, to be villains. But the very men that are pushing this doctrine, they don't even believe in it. I'm talking about top elites. So this feminist thing really hurts, not really so much the men, but it's not, I can't say in the video, but we can see who is actually really starting to hurt. And there's going to be nothing that you can do about it. 
Men are getting on planes and leaving. But I wanted to go into the fact that we've been saying this for years, and everybody said, I, I know as Great Millstone, everybody said we hated women. All because, especially our women, all because we were trying to correct them for the things that they were doing wrong. You see this this um, fat woman is complaining that they need to accommodate seats for her. She said, she's she, she not saying she need accommodation, but she, she claims she does. And the queen of heaven will try and support that and give them everything they want. And by doing that, that turns their faith in men away. You got these women on YouTube now saying, who needs men? We don't need them anymore. Well, that's fine. So every man in America need to sit down for six months and don't go to work. And we'll see what happens. We'll see where it goes. We'll see how true that statement is when the trash is not being picked up. When there's no more vehicles, there's no more buses to, to drive, right? To get you back and forth to work. This society has accommodated, accommodated nothing but the woman. The fraudulent child support, right? The, the fraudulent alimony. See, in the 50s, the 40s, you would say, okay, they may need alimony because they were homemakers. They didn't have much money. We all know that it was all set up and going back then. But it had been a little bit more relevant. But today, you have this strong, independent woman. What does she need? Let's go to Isaiah 13 and 12. I will make man more precious to find gold, fine is refined, right? Well, all the impurity is out of it. Here it says pure gold. I'm reading some translations. Um, then the golden wedge of Ophir, right? Which is pure. Now, when you look at the other translations, I say I will make, it says people. <laughs> it, um, but really, that's going into man in general, Right? It says, I will make people more scarce than fine gold. Okay? Which, you're going to have the men of the Lord, and then you're going to have women, and that, you know, in that day seven women shall take hold of one man. You're going to have sisters who are more, you know, that have some sincerity. So it's going to be rare to find uh, righteous people in this society. Right? So when I look up this word, scarce, it means deficient in quality or quantity or number compared with the, de the demand, not plentiful or abundant, intentionally absent, right? So basically hard to get. I will make man uh, more precious. Let me go back here. I will make man more precious than fine gold. So the, the men of the Lord will be um, scarce, right? They'll be scarce. It'll be hard to get. It won't be in abundance. As we can see, it's only going to be a, a remnant that's going to be saved. You know, so that's why I wanted to go in this video. And the black conscious community has helped aid it along with the system to help them further move in recklessness without accountability with lack of conscience you know that's how bad it is I mean and this is how Eve I'll say Eve for the sake of the video women Eve is so bad off that only thing matters to Eve right now is attention and money that's the only thing that seems to matter to them at this point. It's all about the attention. So when you do that and you lift Eve up on high, the glory that was there, especially in when it came to men, the woman is his glory, it ain't there anymore. There was I come up in an era or age where men were allowed to have nice things and women wanted to be a part of men having these nice things. What happens when you flip it? 
when a woman maintaineth her house, she becomes prudent with much reproach. Eve can't see that the serpents, the money she's been funded is by the serpent himself to flip it and take them out of their spirit. Eve can't see that. All they know is, wait a minute, you got to catch up on a level. <clears throat> you are given. The earth is given into the hands of the wicked, and that includes them. That includes Eve. Because it's not natural, that's why Eve is having such a bad issue. It's, that's why it's a serious problem now. Because you were meant to be led. You was never meant to lead. Except your children. This is totally out of control. And this is what we prophesied against. This is what we've been saying for years. And then you're going to see more stories like this with Eve is losing control or them in general saying, come back after you done, you know, went through everything you've done. I'm trying to say the best way I can say it. After you done played the harlot, then they get to 40 years old. Then they want to settle down. This is crazy. And now they've gotten way, way out of control, man. I'm not even going to go into that. You play the harlot. You do everything you want to do. Then when you see, you start to hit the wall, so to speak. <clears throat> now, I must make a change. I must correct myself now. But you're getting all the plenty and goods. That's like going into a, a, a convenience store. You done robbed it until there's almost nothing left. Right? You done depleted everything. And now you're sorry that you got caught. <laughs> anyway, let me get another scripture. Jeremiah 44 and 17. But we will certainly do whatso, whatsoever thing that go forth out of our own mouth to burn incense unto the queen of heaven and to pour out drink offerings unto her. As we have done, we and our fathers, our kings and our princesses, princess, we see this the same thing with this Mother's Day. I believe I just found out it's supposed to be coming up. I don't keep track of this stuff. They get all the goods. They get all the attention for something that you're supposed to do anyway. Why do you need a special day for something that you were supposed to do anyway as a mother? And this is the dangers of going into that Virgin Mary and where Mary became more important than the son of the Most High himself. And that's all the Queen of Heaven. Everybody that partakes in Babylon has been corrupted by the queen of heaven. I just saw a clip where the guy, the woman threw water on him, I mean, threw the wine on him because they was it wasn't working out. She started smacking him and beating him. Then when he pushed her down, all the big overgrown simps came over to help her out. What does that do to someone's mind? That they can behave like a wild animal and there's no accountability for it. If a lion is running around in the street, they'll be shot down because they're not allowed to do it. But Eve, Eve can run around in the street, throw wine on people, throw bottles on people, shoot people, right? Run cars in the gas stations. There's all kinds of manner of evil. Can have children and say, hey, I don't want you anymore. In fact, I'm going to put the child on you. I don't have nothing to do with you. It's not even your child, but I'm going to say it's yours. And I'm going to take your money. All manners of evil, man. Fat woman complaining about needing two, three seats. <laughs> you know? Two, three seats to sit in. She's big and beautiful. A fat man, you can forget about it. There's nothing beautiful about a fat man. But they're all beautiful about fat women. Now, we can go on and on about this madness and scenarios and this, these sexist uh, mindset, uh, you know, of everything that's happening, the, the um, evilness. But why? We know who runs it. 
We know who supported the Black Lives Matter and the three particular type of women who ran that. Why would they do that? <clears throat> when you start giving them things that they don't need, they don't have any goals, <clears throat> right? As far as their lives are concerned, they just want to take the money. They don't need men now. They give them other alternatives for land with men. And you see the outcome. Anyway, Jeremiah 4 and 30. And when thou art spoiled, what will thou do? Though thou clothest thyself with crimson, though thou deckest thee with ornaments of gold, though thou rendest thy face with painting, in vain shalt thou make thyself fair. Thy lovers shall despise thee, they shall seek thy life. These uh, Eves and these, um, these people, let me say the best way I can say it. They don't understand that this is for a greater cause of evil. This particular doctrine that's been being pushed for many years, feminists, I, I thought feminism was about being feminine. I, I didn't know this is how screwy it is. They made feminism about empowerment. What do you need empowerment for? What is it that they can do that what is it that they are that men are doing that they can't do right now or have the opportunity to do nothing you can go into the schools which i witnessed it these young men only got these uh teachers to look up to this is why the truth is important there's a, a selective group of men that will not fall fall for this uh queen of heaven vibration right that will stand up and be ye men that's who the Lord calls, men. So a lot of these gurus, this is what I want to say also, a lot of these gurus that talk about the the woman and how men are, you know, standing up and the mistreatment of women, it goes even deeper than that because a lot of them are still falling prey to the queen of heaven, still calling us equal. We just share one another. A man and woman in equality in the sense of man and woman shouldn't even exist. Except equal in the mindset of the order that's set up. It's crazy, man. Uh, let me go here to verse 31. For I have heard, this is Jeremiah 4 and 31. For I have heard a voice as a woman in travail and anguish as of her that bringeth forth her first child. You don't understand. A lot of them do not understand what's going on. They have no idea. They don't understand that Eve, what I mean by Eve, she doesn't understand that she's being used for a greater cause, greater agenda. She has no idea. They're not, understand nothing's for free. They're not giving you that money for free. First of all, you're in, a, you're in some form of debt. You're not under the true authority. Right? You're out of control. What do you think going to happen? We understand what's going on, though. Us and the knowledge and the truth. We understand that they tell you just to sleep around, do what you want to do, so you can have... You're not worried about taking, having a family-oriented structure when you got that mindset of just laying with everyone. And if you should happen to get pregnant, we got somewhere you can go. Hell, our insurance will even... You know, we'll even make it cheap for you. Hell, you want some birth control? We got that for you, too. We got you all covered. You know, this is no different than when you go to prison, if you go to jail, which there's some brothers who've been. You don't take nothing from nobody, right? Not unless you're sure that's a friend or somebody that's sincere. You don't take nothing from nobody because there's a greater agenda at the end of the table. You know, whether they want more in return, more money, or try to hustle you for your family to usury. No, nobody give. Look, Eve don't understand what's going on. All those benefits, Black Lives Matter, which had nothing to do with black men, right? So called black men. But they can't see it. All they see is you funded me, how I'm making much, enough money. So now the black man has got to catch up. When we know who has the money, who owns the power, who's. Who's controlling the structure? You wasn't designed to. And a lot of you black women, you had head starts. You had housing. You had special training, classes to help you. 
get up on your on your feet. You even got child care help to help you with that. We know it's about taxing. We know everything that's us to know what all this is all about. Go into the malls. Look who you see spending all the money. But see, when this is all dried out and all wiped up, what are you going to do, man? Right now, ain't nobody paying attention to Eve like that. They didn't. They didn't. They didn't resulted in shooting injections in their behinds to get more attention to lay with men that that don't even want them. Anyway, we can go an hour about that, man. But that that bewail of herself that spread us her hands saying, woe is me now, for my soul is weary of because of murders. This ain't nothing new under the sun. It's all coming back. Anyway, that's all I have on that show.